Greetings, fellow humans of BookTube land. I am here today to do something that I haven't done in a very long time, which is a book tag. And I believe this one was started by, let me get the name right, <laughs> Ink Not Blood. I will leave a link to the original video in the drop-down box. But I first saw it on um, uh, Spinebreakers. So this is the Over 30 tag. And I'm just going to get started uh, with the first question, which is... Name one of your favorite books that features a protagonist who is 30 years old or older. And for this one, I picked the uh, book that I read not very long ago. In fact, I finished it like last week, and I absolutely loved it. And it is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. I feel like I've been talking about this book a lot, but it's fantastic. It is a book about a group of mercenaries um, who decide to get the band back together to rescue one of uh, the members' daughters. And all of them are very old and decrepit and falling apart. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastically funny, um, very touching, well-written, uh, wonderful book that I recommend to all sci-fi and fantasy lovers, as well as just somebody who likes really well-written, character-driven books. Question number two. Name a book that represents who you were when you were younger. This was a little difficult for me to come up with something, but I decided to pick Valerie <laughs> from the Skullduggery Pleasant books. Um, uh, I have sort of a love-hate relationship with her character in this series. I love this series. It's one of my favorites. But she's kind of an ornery little brat in the early books especially and then she sort of turns into an ornery little teenager <laughs> later on when she becomes Valkyrie but I looking back on it now I realize probably part of the reason why I didn't like her very much in early books was because I was like her quite a bit when I was growing up I was I was sort of I was a loner um, I, I kind of was old beyond my years didn't really want to put up with the bullshit of people, of <laughs> kids my own age. So looking back, I do see a lot of myself in her. So question number three, <sighs> name a book that represents where you are in your life now. This one is kind of weird, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> and I chose the Armand Gamache series by Louise Penny. I love this series. I've been, a, I'm a recent convert to this series, actually. Um, and I pick Armand Gamache because he's sort of this very laid-back, kind of eternally optimistic dude who is faced with many terrible, terrible situations. And he finds it really hard to sort of hold on to his optimism. And But he surrounds himself with very supportive people. And even though he's dealing with a lot of really dark things, especially in this book, um, he still finds the beauty in life and finds the joy and the happiness in life uh, by the people that surround him. And I would say that I would like to be that person if I'm not quite there yet. Question number four. Name a book that represents something that has never changed about you. This was the first thing that popped into my head and it might be a, a weird choice, but I am going to go with Infinite Jest because I found myself relating um, so much to the character of Hal and Condensa because, yeah, his his main thing, he's got a lot of problems. He's got a lot of issues that he's dealing with, but his main thing is his almost debilitating anxiety. Um, and I have had anxiety issues my entire life. One of the things about Hal that I really, really relate to is how on the outside it seems like everything is okay, but when you have like the inner monologue in your head, you realize that he's really, really struggling just to hold things together. And there's like little cracks in the surface that you see, like his hand will start shaking or he just becomes obsessive over doing something. And he just he feels like he can't stop doing it because if he stops doing it, something really bad is going to happen. And I've had my moments where I've been that person. So I one of the reasons why I freaking love this book so much is because I could see myself in how and uh, yeah. The opening chapter of this book is probably my favorite opening chapter of any book that I've ever read. It's extremely powerful and weird and just very effective. All right, the next question is name one of your favorite classics. 
I haven't really read any classics in a long time, so I don't know if this book is technically considered a classic, but it was the one that came to mind, and it is <laughs> We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. I love this book. I read it a couple years ago for the first time, and it's weird, and her characters, as always, are, are kind of quirky and strange, um, but that's part of the reason why I loved it. It's this tiny little book, and I love this edition. It's beautiful, and yeah, so that's my pick. To me, it's a classic. Anything by Shirley Jackson is pretty much a classic, so I guess it counts. And finally, the last question is name a book you like or would like to read that was published the year you were born. Um, this is going to date me, <laughs> and all of you out there will be able to just Google the date this was published and know how old my old ass is, um, but I chose uh, The Princess Bride, which I loved that movie when I was growing up, so it's weird that I've never read the book. But yeah, I, w I would like to read that book. So there you go. And also I wanted to say I love doing tags, but I'm very out of practice. So if you know of a really fun tag that you'd like me to do, leave a link in the comments and I will do my best to get around to doing it. And uh, yeah, so until next time, you guys, I will talk with you later. Happy reading.